Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course teaching you everything you need to know about this program. If you enjoyed today's lesson, be sure to check out the link in the description for the full Masterclass course. Alright guys, this next lecture involved in the advanced video effects available to you with an Adobe Premiere Pro is actually going to blow your mind. This method I'm going to walk you through right now is a method that is literally, not even exaggerating, this has literally saved me days worth of video editing time and overall composition time and the method I'm going to be showing you guys is how to automate clips to edit themselves to the beats what that sounds very out the box I know but uh you know as you guys know at this point I create a lot of club promo videos that's been the theme of the footage we've been overlooking at and this is something that helps me personally but also anybody who needs to create anything to the beat I'm going to show you how we can actually work through this song right here and actually add independent markers at each one of these beats and actually once we've added markers at all of these beats and I'm going to show you how to do all this don't worry we can actually automate the clips so we select all the clips we want after adding in and out points to them and they will actually add themselves to the whole project via the click of one button and our project will have essentially edited itself with no composition no adjustments nothing obviously then it's down to you if you want to go in and um, pick and choose the clips that you might want to switch out for each other or whatever other process there is. But this is how to completely automate all of the video editing into honestly, uh, you know, this personally makes the video editing process for me about a quarter of the time. No exaggeration, I promise you. So how do we start doing this, you say? Well, it's very simple. So what we want to do is we want to actually play this all the way through. And every time we hear a beat that we want to cut the clip on, we would press M. And what M does is add a marker, okay? So for example, um, what you guys want to be doing is not selecting the clip itself or else this will add a marker inside of the clip. For example, like that, I'm just going to undo that. You guys want to just be selecting the regular projects. So when we press M, it adds a marker up here. These are the ones that matter. And that is the shortcut. It is just M, M on its own, uh, and you will be adding a marker. So what I'm going to do here is work through this track and just go ahead and give it a play and add a marker every time I want a beat to change. So I'm going to go ahead and press play, work through, and just actually add these markers. And you see what I'm doing? I'm just adding these. So a couple of those are definitely no doubt pretty rough, but the moral of the story right now is, I'm just going to add one at the beginning as well, um, that we have done some rough markers that are kind of on the beat, and you see the kind of pattern we go for, is we want to just go ahead and press play, and actually just go ahead and press that M button anytime we kind of feel a beat that we would want to be chopping off on. Um, it's not the most accurate thing in the world, but obviously we're not going to be super out only by like maybe a frame or two. And you see what I'm doing here is what we do is just keep on adding these beats all throughout so that it's going to be chopping. So we've now done, it's safe to say, a very rough but still an outline of the beats via the markers. And you guys should be seeing essentially, you know, this when you go through this. is just a bunch of markers scattered across the top in seemingly random places. And next up is going to be the fun part of the process and overall the super easy part of the process, really. Once we added all those markers, and by the way, what I would do is when I'm actually doing this, so zoom in here, is what I would actually do is zoom in, right, to actually um, see where I want to chop these and just start readjusting these. So it looks like that one I would probably have there. Uh, it looks like... Um, so it looks like maybe, what, that's the next one I wanted to jump on. That was pretty off. Um, that looks like I got pretty accurate with that one. And you see, I, I've only kind of not been accurate by maybe like one or two frames. So it doesn't really matter that much. However, if you guys want to, this is what I would do pro for a professional edit. So I may as well actually show you guys how to do it as well. Is I would just keep dragging these along to actually adjust these, right? So uh, these are actually accurately on the beat. Um, and it's not just a little bit before or anything like that. And I just keep scrolling through here to actually adjust these 
to be on the beat that I wanted them onto and not just a frame before or anything like that. So everything is looking nice and synced. And obviously, um, this can be a bit of a tedious process, but it's worth it. And overall, even the time combined of adjusting these little clips right here uh, is still way less, you know what I mean? Way less time spent than actually uh, going through and individually having to adjust and add all your clips uh, via just dragging them over and then syncing them up with the beats, which is a, you know, a much more of a tedious, boring process and a much slower process to, to say the very least, to be honest. But you see what I'm doing here is just adjusting these, these markers so that they are in line with these beats. And um, these are just a bunch of random beats that I've tried to sync it up with as I played it through and just tried to add those markers. And hold on, let's just keep on, keep on lining these up. And then, eh, I think this, this should be all right at this point. I think those last few are okay. So now we just have a bunch of markers at the top. I want you guys to come over to your clips and it is uh, crucial that you guys actually put it in and out point. Now you don't have to put the out point on everything because obviously the out point by default is going to be right here at the end. Okay. So even if you don't put an in point, uh, even if you don't put an out point, the out point will by default just be at the end or, you know, wherever basically. So you just need to make sure you guys throw an in point or else it will just be starting at the beginning of that clip. Um, so for example, in here, you know, that's my endpoint right there. This next clip here, that's my endpoint right there. Overall, just a bunch of endpoints. And then I want you guys to actually go through and select the top clip, then come all the way down to the bottom of your clips. Okay, keep on scrolling down, hold shift and click. So it selects everything in between and you guys will have a big selection of clips right there where you've actually in and outed all those clips as well. And then you actually go up here to sequence or actually go up here to clip rather and then come down here to automate to sequence. That's where, that's where I got the word sequence from. Click on automate to sequence, and the only thing you guys need to change is simply change placement to at unnumbered markers from sequentially. You, uh, just normally by default, it will be on sequentially. Just for me, it's on at unnumbered numbers, uh, at unnumbered markers, because I've done this before, okay? So for you guys, it will be on sequentially. Click that drop down, change it to at unnumbered markers, and watch this magic when I press OK. Oops, <laughs> there you go. Hold on, guys. Um, we do need to bring this audio layer down to the second layer because all of these have audio attached to it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But anyways, go ahead and reselect these clips right here because I just clicked off accidentally. Go ahead and reselect them. Go up here to clip, then go to automate to sequence. Click that automate sequence at unnumbered markers. Press OK, and everything will have thrown itself into exactly where it needs to go. And the only reason there are these little gaping holes here is because clearly the end point of these guys was actually before. So all we have to do is then readjust these clips that um, the end point, um, the out point rather, was actually too soon. So it didn't make it all the way. Adjust all of these. Mute this layer, obviously, because that's all just the garbage audio. Adjust all of these so they actually fill the whole area. And once you've adjusted everything, you will be able to actually give this a play and it will be a sequence that has actually edited itself and automated it, the editing to the beat, which is a massive time saving method. If we just go ahead and cut it off there um, and actually we just go ahead and delete all these other clips because it has thrown in all the other ones just after because there aren't any numbers, uh, any markers for it to go to. But now guys, if we actually go ahead here Press that out button, go up here to sequence, render in and out. I'm just going to give a nice quick render through this or at least a decent portion of it um, so we can actually have a nice watch of this to see how well it has actually synced everything to the beat. And this method here, I was not joking when I told you guys in the beginning that this has literally saved me uh, at the very least hours at the most probably days worth of editing in, t in total. It like uh, combined across all my projects since I figured this method out here. Um, it has been absolutely crazy, such an amazing method. And overall, if you're doing any sort of work where you need to automate the footage to the beat, this is an amazing method to do it by simply going through, adding those markers all the way at the top there, and then actually just readjusting them. So they're actually accurate and on point. Um, and then go ahead and automate those clips into the sequence. And actually, I'm just going to cancel that now because it's rendered enough at the top and go ahead and give this a play. And you guys can see now, oop, let me give this a, a quick play. Everything is synced to the beat. All the markers that you can see are up the top. And this has actually just edited itself, which is amazing. 
And if I just keep on playing this, this is edited through itself and done a very good job of actually syncing everything to the beat simply via these uh, the, the use of markers. Um, now, for some reason, it's not playing the audio here. Um, don't worry, Premiere Pro is glitchy often, all the time. If, if, if ever anything's messing up, just go ahead and uh, replay from a point where it wasn't messing up. But everything is decently synced. Everything's put together nicely. And overall, this, uh, you know, actually syncing all of these clips manually to the beat would have probably taken us about two hours, an hour right here, just to do a, you know, a one minute worth of footage. But you can see we've just done this in less than 10 minutes, which is not even comparable amount of time to save. It is absolutely amazing. So by all means, use this time-saving method of how to automate clips to the beat, and you will be saving yourself literally from my mouth to your ears days and days days worth of time compiling, adjusting, and overall piecing together this particular uh, sequence right here where we've just automated that in a matter of minutes. Boom, there you have it guys. That is another lesson done out of the Adobe Premiere Pro CC Masterclass course that is 100% free on my channel. Uh, there's a complete playlist literally working through everything from the most possible basic things available in Adobe Premiere Pro, like, you know what I mean, creating a new project, uh, you know, all the way to the most advanced stuff available to you in the entire program. We're literally breaking through the entire thing. If you haven't already gone over and checked out that playlist, then by all means, if you've made it to this point in the video, I would 100% urge you to. Seriously, this is an extremely useful playlist. By all means, uh, you know, even if you know the, the very basics, uh, you know what I mean? You can go here and just, uh, you know, pick and choose which lessons to actually partake in. It's not all extreme basic stuff. It, it uh, is sequential. So at the very bottom of the playlist, it is the most basic stuff and it's essentially working its way up to the most advanced stuff available in the entire um, uh program Adobe Premiere Pro CC. And um, you know what I mean? Essentially, we're just consistently adding videos to this playlist, working our way up to the most advanced stuff. Obviously, I've already created the entire course. It's over seven plus hours. It is also available on Udemy. Um, and uh, basically, I'm just uh, taking my turn, uh, taking my time to upload this content here, keep on putting it into this playlist, and then uh, once I've actually built up kind of like a, a, a let's say 50 plus uh, videos, all basically little mini lessons breaking down this entire program, then I'm going to start pushing a lot of promotional content uh, on my actual, you know what I mean, you, you, uh, YouTube channel, just kind of pushing and directing you guys um, to this particular playlist. And basically just trying to direct as many people as I can to this playlist because, uh, you know what I mean, I, I originally created this project as part of some commission work for a, uh, a really big Udemy um, instructor who was actually looking to branch off into creating content about you know, subjects he didn't actually know about, uh, etc. So I was hired to create this whole project. We worked on this entire thing together for him to actually sell on Udemy, but for me to actually just give away to you guys, obviously I could have sold this thing if I wanted to. I decided I didn't want to actually, uh, you know, try actually just get like, a, a you know, $5 a pop for it, $10 a pop for it, whatever, uh, you know what I mean? Whatever price I set it as instead, I thought there was much more value just in actually giving the whole thing away, seeing as I'd already, you know what I mean, had some sort of monetary gain from it by the fact that I was actually hired to create this um, kind of big intricate project and kind of create the whole lesson plan, everything for this really big creator over on Udemy who literally has hundreds of thousands of students uh, that he's taught various different topics to across the years. Obviously, like I said, he brought me on as I was kind of like uh, someone who had knowledge in an area that he did not. We created the whole seven plus hour course. By all means, go to the playlist and check it out. It is the full Adobe Premiere Pro CC Masterclass course. If you guys know even loads about Adobe Premiere Pro, go click on the course. You will see a couple videos that you maybe didn't realize. I literally spent fucking hours combining all of my knowledge, uh, you know what I mean, into uh, of Adobe Premiere Pro, all the tips, tricks, and hacks I've picked up throughout using this in my day-to-day -day profession for the past years, uh, you know what I mean? So there's a huge amount of knowledge that I compiled into this thing 
overall very helpful to anybody who likes Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm now going to leave the trailer that actually went onto uh, Udemy, the actual trailer that you can kind of watch before buying the course over on Udemy for the big instructors page just so you guys can get a little bit more enticed if you're even still watching at this point by all means i'm sure a bunch of you are uh enjoy the trailer but the trailer is basically going to tell you everything i i just told you now go over check out the playlist in the description the complete adobe premiere pro cc master class course of 2018 here we go really hope you guys enjoy and find it helpful thanks for watching i'm jack have a nice day guys and take it easy hey what's up guys my name is jack and welcome to the adobe premiere pro master class course I'm a freelance video editor slash videographer as well as YouTuber with 70,000 subscribers producing weekly content based around video production and I'm going to be your tutor for this particular course and we're going to be walking through everything together from the most basic to the most advanced of video editing tactics available to you within Adobe Premiere Pro. We are going to start off with the introduction section where we get all the basics out the way and by the end of even this first section, you will have edited together your first basic sequence. And the list of things that I can guarantee you will know how to do by the end of this Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course ranges from such a huge amount of stuff, including a full understanding of all the tools and shortcuts available to you with an Adobe Premiere Pro, a complete understanding of animated titles, how to create basic ones all the way to advanced ones, how to create custom transitions, where we actually have hands-on activities to do this together, creating those custom transitions, as well as, of course, utilizing those basic default video and audio transitions. You will also have an understanding of the difference between color correction and color grading and also how to utilize both of these video editing and overall color improvement tactics in Adobe Premiere Pro. You will also have complete hands-on understanding of keyframe animation, whether that be using keyframes to lower the decibels of soundtracks, all the way to using keyframes to animate clip dimensions and of course animating text as previously mentioned. You will then have a complete understanding of exporting, whether that be general exporting, exporting for specific platforms using presets or even exporting in the maximum possible render quality available to you within Adobe Premiere Pro. You will then have a complete and intricate understanding of video speed and the speed manipulation tactics available to you in this program, whether that be using your simple reverses, your simple speed changes, or even the super advanced speed ramps and speed ramp transitions, which I am going to extensively get into in the video speed section of this course. We are then going to, in section 9, do all the ins and outs of advanced video effects, whether that be simply the VFX section all the way to all of the most user-friendly and time-saving methods. I have personally had to learn the hard way, but I've compiled all of these kind of cheat sheets into that advanced effects section to be saving you guys so much time throughout your creative process in Adobe Premiere Pro. We're then going to uh, actually complete an outro of the course to summarize everything you have learned and you will know how to do, as well as including a master project, which is kind of going to be an unfiltered, kind of raw, hands-on experience and overall uh, letting you guys get an insight into what my actual real life live almost unedited raw video editing and creative process is going to look like in terms of creating a project for a client that I would actually be creating normally. Without further ado guys, there is so much in store for this Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. I can't wait to jump into it and with that being said, let's do it.